Hi everyone, I'm Genya. This is Yoga with Genya. I am going to be guiding you in a relaxing and calming evening practice. So let's begin. Try to bring a tie belt or I'm using a scarf for one of the postures today. So have that with you. And here we go. We're gonna find ourselves in a prone position, come onto your belly. We're gonna point the toes so you're on the top of your toes. And we're gonna bring our forearms down in front of you. Our upper abdominals, our chest is lifted. The chin is parallel to the floor. Fingers are spread wide. Relaxing any tension in the neck. And take three deep breaths here. Shoulders away from your ears. Lift that heart. This practice is so amazing for the back. You can read a book in this posture. You can talk on the phone, on speakerphone in this posture. It's a great way to just strengthen the back. And then gently, gently from the Sphinx, we're gonna go into a supine position come onto your back and then just lie down, keeping your belt, your scarf, whatever you have close to you. Legs are close together, palms are down. Bend the legs and then bring the right leg all the way up. Take your prop and put it right, you could bend your knee, you could put it right on your foot and hold on to it with both hands and extend that left leg. Flex that left foot, flex the right foot, and maybe feel that sensation as you bring your leg all the way towards your upper body. Maybe you keep it bent. Listen to your yogi's edge. Listen to where your body allows you to get comfortable. Beautiful. Then take your prop in your right hand, bring your left hand down, and bring your leg all the way off to the side and listen to your edge, press your left side down. If you find that left side is coming up, you're going too far. You do not have to come all the way down. Oh, look who's here. And then bring that leg all the way up, grab that prop with your left hand and bring it off to the side, dropping your right palm down. Shadow, they can't see me. Shadow, move. Okay. Three breaths. Shut up. Shut up. Then bring that leg all the way up. Beautiful. And then bend and bring that leg down. Bend both knees. Okay. I'm sorry. Shadow, come over here and lie down. Sit down. Bring that left leg all the way up. Extend that right leg all the way down. Bring your prop to your foot and hold onto the prop with both hands. Flex your feet. Beautiful. Listen to that edge. Maybe you could go a little further. Maybe you let go. Take the prop in your left hand, bring it off to the side, dropping your right arm down. Surrender. Excellent. Lift that left leg all the way up. Grab hold of it with your right hand. Drop that left hand and just slightly bring it off to the side. Keeping the foot flexed. Feel the side leg. The sciatic nerve or the IT band. It's very hard to get to those areas. You really want to elongate those areas. Breathing energy, breathing oxygen to that open space. And then slowly bring it back. Beautiful. Then bend the knee, remove the prop, and then bring both feet grounded, bring both knees into the chest. And just sway from side to side, relaxing the lower back. Drop both feet down to the ground, cross one leg over. Bring your right hand, scoop it in between your 
leg and then lift up, keeping both feet flexed, pressing that right knee away from you so you open your hips. I'm sure we're sitting a lot in the house between the desks and the sofa and, and in the kitchen and the dining room. It's like a lot of sitting and we need to open up our joints, our hips, our legs, our knees, our ankles, our back, our shoulders, and then drop it down. Plant that right foot and cross over the left foot. Again, bring your arms inside. Thread it like a needle. Thread through the needle. Flex your feet. Maybe pressing that left knee away from you. And breathe. So I'm yapping away, but breathe deeply. Feel the breath. Listen to the sounds around you. Listen to that audible breath. Notice the breath, connect with the breath, and then bring it down, beautiful. And then bring both knees back into the chest. We're gonna sway forward and back. Maybe you come all the way up, or you just lean to the side, and then come up into a bound angle pose. So we're bringing the soles together, and we're not gonna lean forward. For this one, we're just gonna bring our hands on our feet. We're gonna elevate the chest, drop the shoulders. Feel your neck getting long, feel the head reaching up to the sky, pressing the knees out to the sides, opening the groin. Breathe. Maybe you're exhaling with your mouth open. Or maybe you're, you're sealing your lips just hear that forced exhalation with your closed mouth. Beautiful. And let go and then bring your legs out to the side. We're going to try to bring your legs into an outer rotation so you're going to the outside, flexing your feet, then bringing your hands forward. There's no forcing the posture here. This is a very calming and relaxing practice. Maybe bring yourself forward again with the exhalation, finding more space. Use your breath to empty out, find more space so you can create more space to lengthen, to get longer, to bring more energy into your body, to move forward. Yes. And then just surrender and breathe. Maybe bringing your forehead to the earth. Just letting go. Slowly peel yourself up gently. Beautiful, and then bring your right foot to the inner thigh. Bring it really high so it gets very close to your groin. Press your knee down, body towards your leg. Inhale, then exhale forward. Three breaths. Feel the openness of the side body, your obliques. Inhale into that open space. Lift yourself up, beautiful. And then come back into a fan pose. Take your left foot to your inner thigh, very high up. Lengthen your spine. Like see those bones separate from one another. Get nice and tall so we, we allow that synovial fluid just to move around and moisturize our body. Heal yourself to the side. Inhale, lift and exhale, reach down. Pressing that knee out to the side, opening up that whole hip area. <sighs> surrender. Again, inhale. Exhale, surrender. Lift yourself nice and tall, beautiful. Excellent. This time, bring your legs in front of you, nice and straight. And then just come forward gently. Don't come too far. 
Keep a very straight back. Feel your yogi's edge. Feel that sensation in the back of the leg and breathe here. To bring your mind and the breath together, make that connection. That's what yoga is. We're connecting. We're being present with our body, with our breath, with our spirit, with our mind, and our emotions. Bring it all the way up again and cross your legs. Just cross your legs here. Maybe one leg in front of the other or a half lotus, full lotus. This is your practice. Bring your hands behind you and then lean slightly forward. Maybe drop your head. Release any creases in the neck, any tension, and then lift yourself all the way up and then bring the other leg forward. Again, arms behind you. Bring yourself forward, beautiful. Lift yourself all the way up. And then come back into a supine posture on the floor. Bring your knees into the chest, arms out to a T, and bring your knees to the right. Maybe look to the left or look up to the sky. Breathe in through that twist. This is a great spinal twist, engaging the belly organs. Great movement to do. Great posture before you eat to really activate and stimulate that whole digestive area. Getting ready to digest food. Slowly bring your knees back into the chest and then bring them to the other side, looking to the right. Breathe deeply to surrender. Try to relax your shoulders. Like without realizing we tend to like tense up the shoulders. Just let them go. Slowly bring your knees back into the chest and for the final resting pose, bring your legs out as wide as the mat. Bring your arms a little closer without touching the sides of your body and flip over your hands. And give yourself permission to surrender, to relax. This is the most important pose in a practice. Allowing yourself to be calm, to be one with yourself, to be quiet. Yes, sometimes we have to give ourselves permission to do this. Yeah, feel the earth beneath you. Feel your jaws relax. Maybe crack a smile on your face. Releasing any wrinkles or tension in your face. Maybe seeing your belly rise and fall on every breath. Ah, I hear my family calling me. I think they want me in the kitchen now. <laughs> Dinner time. I love it. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes and move your head from side to side. Maybe breathe deeper. Come back into your body. Bend your knees. Bring your knees all the way into your chest. Bring them off to the side. And then with your upper arms, gently bring yourself nice and tall into a sitting position. Get comfortable. Oh, that felt so good. So refreshing. And then maybe make yourself some tea, a nice tea tonight to calm yourself, calm your nervous system, relax for the evening. There's some amazing teas, I'll post them. It's like valerian root, a beautiful Ayurvedic herbal tea. This will really get you to sleep. I have nighty night with passion flower. I have my throat coat and my flora, which is great for colds or just like a lot of herbs 
to build your immunity and peppermint, which is great for digestion and calming and dandelion for the liver and cleansing. And there's so many beautiful teas out there. I'm going to be posting them for you. So everyone, just gently close your eyes. You're gonna take a deep breath and let it go. I'm gonna ring my sound bowl with your eyes closed. When I ring and you hear the sound, I want you to inhale. And at the end of the sound, just let it go. I'm gonna be doing that three times and then we'll see what practice. So everyone gently close your eyes. Exhale. Beautiful. Bring your hands to touch. Bring your thumbs to your heart. Bring your chin towards your heart. Sealing your evening practice of calm, relaxation, knowing wherever you are, whenever you can practice yoga to create this peaceful state of equanimity. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening and sweet dreams.